Hey everybody, I'm Patrick and this is Rocky Mountain Style. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if not, welcome back. I really appreciate you taking the time to click on this video. In this video, of course, we are talking about what I'm wearing right here, which is the Flint and Tinder Bone Button Western Shirt. This is in a color called Medium Dark Wash and it's my first denim shirt. It's my first Western shirt of any kind. So I wanted to say that up front, I'm definitely not an expert on Western fashion, on Western style, Western wear, construction methods, really anything like that. However, as part of this channel and my own personal style journey, I wanted to at least explore the Western style a little bit, see if it's something that vibed with me. And if not, that's fine, but I owe it to myself and I thought you guys might be you know, interested in seeing what I thought and coming along for the journey with me as I explore you know, Western wear for the first time. And you'll notice I'm wearing a, you know, cow or a baseball style hat, not a cowboy hat. I don't own one. I uh, apologize for that. So uh, if, if you want to leave a comment telling me I'm not really wearing Western wear, that's totally fine. You go right ahead. Uh, however, I can say that I actually am kind of digging this shirt. So again, I'm, as I mentioned, Flint and Tender, Bone Button Western shirt. I asked my buddies at Huckberry if they would send this to me so I could check it out and see if it vibed with me. And if so, I would do a video on it. And so they were happy to oblige. So I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I actually think it's pretty darn cool. Um, my wife doesn't like it too much currently, but I think it'll grow on her. I think it's the denim color. You just kind of have to get used to it. But it's made in the USA, 100% cotton. It's an eight ounce cotton, so it's not too thin. Uh, it feels pretty substantial, so I do like the fact that it's a little bit thicker. The snaps are actually burnt cow bone, which is pretty cool. And if you look close at them, they each have sort of a different little burn mark. So each one uh, is not the same as the last, which I like. So of course, you've got the classic pointed Western uh, pockets up here with points on them. You've got a classic Western yoke. I guess classic's probably not the right term. I shouldn't say that. I feel like the the western styling elements on this shirt are a little more subdued than many and i think that's exactly why i kind of gravitated towards this particular shirt i didn't want to get into something that just had you know the pointiest most ornate points on it and you know a bunch of uh you know stitching detail and things like that that's probably that was a little too far outside my comfort zone for this first video so that's why i went here um i'm also wearing these Rhodes caliber roper boots uh, this is something that I got a while back from Huckberry. I did an unboxing on them, so I'll put a link up here if you want to check that out a little bit as well. But these are my first, quote, cowboy boots as well. Um, so, yeah, I thought it'd be good to try these out, try them out with the shirt, and just sort of see how things were going. But like I said, I, I enjoy the shirt. I think it's fun to wear. Uh, I wore it once with denim. It was a gray denim. I don't really have a wash that, a blue wash that goes quite well with this particular shirt. So I haven't delved into that yet, but I did wear them with gray denim, which I thought looked pretty cool. Posted it on Instagram and several other folks <laughs> said I didn't look too much like an idiot. So uh, I guess I didn't do it too terribly wrong. So that's really it. There's not much more to this. Just, uh, just otherwise to say that I'm exploring Western wear a little bit. Wanted to show you this shirt from uh, Huckberry. There will be a link in the description, of course, if you want to check it out. Again, like I said, it's made in America. Uh, this is a size medium on me, 44 inch chest. So that was right on on the measurements and it's not too tight. I think it actually fits pretty well. There's good, good amount of uh, room in the shoulders, I guess, for someone my size. So yeah, leave me, leave me a terrible comment below and let me know how ridiculous I look uh, and how bad I messed up Western style for the first time. But uh, as just dipping my foot in, like I said, I think I will continue to dip my foot in and maybe look for something that's a little more uh, Western, a little more traditional perhaps uh, down the line to try out. So thanks for taking the time on this short video. Have a great day.